Rob Rolled in the Northwestern Fishery District. Two reservoirs, Rough River Lake and Nolan River Lake, are both at winter pool and holding steady. However, both lakes are partially frozen, especially around the edges, and the Corps of Engineers does advise to use caution if you try to launch on any of the ramps. Is, uh, a lot of them have debris on them that are left over from the last high water, and they've not been cleaned off. This is a good time of year to do boat or boat motor maintenance, clean out tackle boxes, clean up your fishing reels, change line, something to keep you occupied occupied till the weather warms up a bit and remember that fishing line is recyclable we have recycled tubes around many of our lakes that's an update from the northwestern fishery district please remember to be safe this is jeff crosby with the central district fishery report currently two species of interest this time of year are sauger and trout Sauger are beginning to stage below many of our locks and dams on the Ohio and Kentucky rivers. Try live minnows or a uh, variety of jigs, spoons, or minnow imitating lures to catch these fish. Uh, additionally, it's a great time of year to check out a few of the ponds and lakes that are part of the department's Fishing and Neighborhoods program or FINS program. Check out the department's website at fw.ky.gov for a complete list of fins lakes in your area. Small jigs or small inline spinners such as uh, MEP spinners are excellent baits for catching a few of these trout. So grab a pole and enjoy some great winter fishing and always wear your life jackets. In the western part of Kentucky, down at Kentucky and Barkley Lakes, we're kind of in that wintertime fishing pattern where you've basically just got to pick and choose your days. The lakes have come back down from the flooding that we went through, and so things stabilize. It's a good time to find a, a somewhat warm day to go crappie fishing, a good time to go spider rigging out on those ledges for crappie. But something to think about, I did hear during all this flooding that a lot of really nice largemouth bass were caught up around the flooded timbers with jigs and jerk. So just something to remember, next time the lake floods in the wintertime, you might try out that shallow water flooded timber. When the tailwaters, the tailwaters is getting back down to normal, so that means striped bass fishing, catfish, and again, kind of picking and choosing your warm days that you want to be out there. And of course, it's wintertime, so just be careful of the cold water and the temperatures. Well, this is Paul Reister, and I hope you find a good day to go fishing.